Good morning, my beautiful friends. I am so happy that you could make it for our little tea time today. Thank you so much for coming. It is very good to see you. Let me know what you are having to drink with me today in the comments. And if you would like to join me three to five times a week for a little bit of a morning tea time get together, go ahead and press the subscribe button and the little bell next to it so that you get notified every time that I post. I apologize if you can hear some mechanical noises here and there scattered throughout the video because there's somebody doing some kind of work in my parking lot and somebody doing some kind of work uh, in the uh, thing next to me. So uh, it might, there might be a little bit of noise dispersed throughout this video. I'm very sorry. So today I am going to be trying um, the Choco Chaga Detox Tea from David's Tea for the first time. Um, normally anything, any tea that has the word detox in it makes me like absolutely run for the hills. However, this thing was 50% off and David promised me that it would taste like hot chocolate in tea form. So what was I supposed to do? I'll get into the whole detox tea thing later. Um, if you can tell, I am not a fan or a proponent of it, but, um, this one seemed to have perfectly good ingredients, so let's uh, see what's going on. I'm gonna be so honest. Um, so I'm aware that this has mushroom in it. It is the chaga mushroom. However, I was like, they can't possibly taste like mushrooms. Why would anybody want a tea that tastes like mushrooms? I'm sure they've fixed that. But as I was pouring the, uh, the tea into my cup, I just got this wafting steam wave of mushroom. So, uh, let's see how it tastes. You know, okay. It's got like an earthy, earthiness to it. Um, I guess is the word one might use to describe it, but it doesn't taste like I'm drinking mushroom water. Um, like, oh my god, when I was pouring it, I literally, like, it smelled like the smell that happens when you're cooking mushrooms. But, it doesn't taste like that. So, is it hot chocolate? Let me get back to you on that. I gotta think about this one. It's not bad. I'm enjoying it. It is a good, it's a pleasant taste. I seriously guess I just decided to film at the exact same time that everyone decided to start doing work outside. Again, this tea was on sale, so um, I'm not mad at it. Let me know what your plans are for today, what's going on this week. Today I am going to, after I film this video, I have to edit it. I am going to have a nice solid workout. Yesterday I had a lovely day of rest. I did a lot of reading, writing, um, just kind of trying to wind down and enjoy my Sunday. but. Uh, today is Monday, so I'm posting this on Tuesday. I really, like, I want to get into the habit of posting the exact same day, but if I'm filming in the morning when I have my wake-up time, then I can't be posting it during your wake-up time, so it's a day behind. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out. But I do want to be able to, like, sit down the same day with you and have our talks together, so let's see how that goes. Today's really going to be a, a day of planning. I've got to figure out what topics I'm going to do for my blog this week, um, what topics I'm going to do for my videos this week, so lots of work to be done today. Again, go ahead and let me know down in the comments what you're doing today. Let me know what you did this weekend, what you've got going on, literally anything that you want to talk to me about. This is our little hangout spot, so go ahead and I will be responding to comments as long as the video is still new. So as I dig into this supposedly hot chocolate tea, let's have a little chat about our good friend David at David's Tea. Hi David, if you're watching this, um, it's very nice to see you. You should keep watching. So first question, does David, does David's Tea make tasty tea? And the answer is undoubtedly yes. All of the teas, all of the teas that I have tried in my, you know, sneaking samples in the store and my teeny tiny collection of the teas that I've purchased. Um, very tasty, no complaints. I undoubtedly am always satisfied by my purchases from David's Tea. This Choco Chaga is kind of growing on me because it doesn't really taste like mushrooms. It just has a bit of, an, bit, bit, of a, bit of a scent, a waft of mushroom. But other than that, it's um, mostly like the chocolate and the, uh, the 
chicory root, hickory root, chicory, chicory root. Yes. So, um, it's quite tasty. I put a little bit of milk in it too to give it a nice creaminess. I thought the chocolate would go nicely with a little bit of macadamia nut milk. So, you know, it is, it is definitely chocolatey. Not quite as good as literally just like drinking cacao, but good. Do I think that some of their teas are as tasty as they are because they use natural and artificial flavorings in addition to their actual like herbs? Yes, um, I'm, I, yes, they definitely do. And I'm sure that's what makes it so tasty. Um, is it bad for me to be drinking flavorings? I don't know, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a doctor. All I know is that it is tasty, can confirm. I did a lot of scouring the internet before making my latest sale haul purchase from David's Tea because these days I like to know exactly where my dollar is going because I don't have many dollars and I would like to make sure the ones that I am spending are going to good places and doing good things. So here are the things that I have found out about the business practices of David's Tea. From what I can gather over my internet research of both David's website as well as a couple other sources writing about David's Tea, um, they have been committed to their sustainability and their environmental impact for several years and have been always actively trying to improve their business practices. Their tea sachets are 100% recyclable. Could they be compostable? Maybe, maybe that's the next step is making them compostable perhaps, maybe David? Maybe David should have compostable tea sachets, but 100% recyclable is definitely far better than a lot of other companies who you literally just, you have to throw them in the trash. Well, that means that I don't always have to buy their loose leaf tea in the big tins if I want to spend less money and get it in the sachets. Um, I can at least be reassured that I won't be creating too much waste because I will be able to recycle them. In store, they actually ask customers to bring their own tins to buy loose leaf tea and take home with them. So that way they're eliminating package entirely if you are going to purchase your tea in store. However, I did read somewhere that um, this past year, um, you know, because everything has been crazy this past year, um, David's Tea decided to close down a large number of their stores, not only because it was going to save them money, but overall, um, converting to a more online base and, you know, taking their business more to larger warehouses and just getting rid of all these little individual locations would reduce their um, carbon footprint and their environmental impact because they would be using less energy. That's what I read. So as far as their packaging and their carbon footprint, they do make an active act uh, 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 they do make an active effort to reduce their packaging um, as well as reduce their energy use. David's Tea is connected with the Ethical Tea Partnership, which means that supposedly they fund community projects in the areas from which they harvest their tea. So they do make an effort to give back to the communities that they are sourcing from. David's Tea also claims to be fair trade, which is an absolute must. In addition to their partnership with the uh, ETP, they also have their own set of charity teas in order to give back um, in that way as well. They have created charity teas that donate proceeds to the NAACP, um, the SPCA, as well as Red Cross, the Bee Conservancy, and a host of other causes. So David, I think that you are doing some stuff right. I'm seeing some good things from you. With prices like David's, I want to make sure that the dollars that I'm spending are going into the causes that they claim they are. I expect that your workers are paid extremely well. Somebody please correct me if I am wrong and any of this information that I provided is false or has been disproven. That would be amazing. I do not want to be promoting a company that doesn't actually follow through with the things that they say they do. But you guys know I'm broke so I typically, um, Except for like the main basics, like Earl Grey, um, I don't really buy from David except when it's on sale because... But it does seem like um, David's Tea is doing a host of good things and making a real valiant effort to reduce their emissions and put good back out into the community. So I think that if you are going to splurge on tea, I think David's Tea is a very good option. Their teas are weird and quirky. They're not known for their sophistication of like 
you know, these beautifully bred crafted green tea leaves or anything like that. They're known for their quirky tea flavors and they really hit the mark when it comes to having some really fun, interesting combinations of flavorings. It's fun and I'm here for it. It's, you know, 21st century tea, futuristic tea. Hey David, I will rave about your tea if you want to send me some new flavors or something sometime for me to try on camera. Um, I will do that for you. I told you guys at the beginning of this video that I was going to talk about why it is that I don't promote um, detox teas or detox products, but I think that needs a whole separate video because there's a lot to uh, un unbox there. I would recommend this tea for somebody who likes hot chocolate but doesn't like it too sweet, um, enjoys like nice earthy notes in their tea, um, but I wouldn't consider it a detox tea. It is highly antioxidant, which I think is a fantastic thing. But um, I do think they just kind of named it detox because that's like a trendy thing to do. Anyway, what do you think? Do you want me to make a video on detox products? Because I have many thoughts. So let's have a little conversation in the comments about our good friend David. Do you like David's tea? Have you ever tried it? Have you been thinking about it? I personally was introduced to David's tea by um, our hollow queen Simply Nail Logical here on YouTube. Um, Pretty sure that she gave, she's given them a lot of free publicity. I'm probably gonna have to drink an espresso after this because there's not so much caffeine and I'm not really awake, so um, yeah, that's gonna be the next thing. What are some tea brands that you would like me to investigate? Um, let me know in the comments. Oh, my hoodie is from Tala. I will put their Instagram at somewhere but they make all of their clothes out of recycled materials uh this sweatshirt i believe is made out of recycled plastic bottles which is super cool if you are thinking of purchasing from tala i highly recommend any of their their sweaty products as well as their skin Lux line is absolutely phenomenal all of their sports bras and um, their tops those are probably their best products in my opinion I'm just like plugging all of the brands today um, and nobody's paying me. So I hope you guys appreciate it. So I thought I would take a little bit of a different pace today and kind of like do an investigative look into a tea brand considering that, you know, what we do on this channel is we sit in our loungy clothes and we drink coffee or tea. So I thought it would be fun to kind of like take a little deep dive into a brand. My tea is getting cold, so I am going to warm it back up and enjoy the rest of my morning, get some editing done. Let me know what you're doing today in the comments again. And if you would like to join me three to five times a week for a little chitty chat, happy morning tea time hour, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the little bell next to it. If you enjoyed this little, little investigation, if you like David's tea, if you wanna be my friend, like this video, that would be super cool and amazing. I love and appreciate you all very, very, very much. Thank you so much for joining me today. It was very nice to have some tea with you. I will see you uh, tomorrow. Bye.